On our previous video, we talked about photochemical electrocyclic reactions and how these reactions is actually revealing how it's kind of different from the thermal process in terms of flipping their roles in terms of dissertatory to conditory processes. Now, we looked at the homo state of the dissertatory process when it's compared to the thermal conditions versus that of the SOMO when you're looking at the photochemical process because one electron has been excited to the previous or the former LUMO in this particular sense. So you're going three nodes now compared to just two nodes and then you have a constitutory process in order for these two orbitals here, the tail and the head, to actually overlap to form our sigma bond which is what we have over here. We also took into account the symmetry or sorry the stereo chemistry in terms of one actually being trans and the other one being cis with respect to each other. Now let's look at an example of this and how this example is applicable to the real world. We're looking at this particular structure in here at the bottom. This structure or chemical compound is actually estrogen I must say. Oh, sorry, not estrogen. I will actually say ergo steroid. And this ergo steroid can actually be converted into a particular well known compound that we get from our diet, which is a pro vitamin D2. And let's look at how this process is actually performed in a photochemical process. Now, on the sunlight, we actually have a particular photochemical process where we have the cleavage of a sigma bond. Now, one of the questions is, which sigma bonds? There are so many sigma bonds in here. Don't worry guys, I'm going to show you guys some of the interesting sigma bonds that are actually crucial in here. You'll kind of be surprised that, oh, it's not actually that hard to actually figure it out. Now, we talked about stereochemistry in our previous segment here. But now let's look at the stereochemistry that is kind of revealed in here. Yes, you don't know, it's actually this particular bond in here. This bond is actually or was formed by a particular process where we have one pointing up and the other pointing down, which is the hydrogen versus the methyl group over here. Now let's look at how this sunlight triggering this particular process will actually lead to the breakage of this bond. Now, take note that if you're performing a electrocyclic process, we do form our bonds that go in this or by breaking a bond, we actually go by moving this particular bond over here, thereby causing this to actually break to form a pi bond and this pi bond here forms a pi bond in here. Now, once we're able to do just that, this reveals that this bond actually breaks. And let's see how we'll actually look at it, changing the view of this particular structure. So by changing the view, we actually see this come into play. And we have this actually pointing up, which is the methyl group. And in here, we have this pointing down, which is the other ring. And that ring actually joins with this main ring over here and take note that we have our sigma bond from this carbon overlapping with the sigma bond of this other carbon over there now we do have this one which shows that it's pointing up and we have this particular hydrogen which is pointing down and in here we have this other part of our segment which is this part here just put that there now, in terms of how we're able to actually determine where the bond is actually rotating, if you remember in terms of thermal processes, thermal processes shows that if you have six electrons that are involved in this process, we do have six pi electrons. Now, six pi electrons in a thermal condition obeys the 4q plus 2, and that leads to idea of our dissociatory process where this bond here 
or this particular hydrogen bond here will actually move inward and this bond will go inward in here in order for it to break our bond in here however on the other case since we are targeting the sunlight which is a photochemical process now the photochemical process will actually tell us that if you're going thermally in a six part electron state actually it's actually it's the other case where our six part electrons will actually perform a commutatory process where we actually have this particular segment moving in the same direction as this particular segment over there thereby causing this to actually move up and this moving down so that shows that it was actually formed by the tail here overlapping with the head here to form our initial sigma bond but hey we're looking at breaking up bond so we are going in the opposite direction where we actually see that our product we actually show our double bond here and take note that this is one of our parts and we have our hydrogen button within in here and on the other side we have our double bond and we have our node with sorry our lobe with the methyl group bonded to the carbon and we have the other ring actually positioned in here now in terms of the shading as long as they're out of phase you're fine and what you get is this in here and that in there so in the presence of sunlight ergo steroid will actually be converted into our pro vitamin D2 and this process reveals that this is a conrotatory not a disorotatory process because the disorotatory process which is what we talk about over here is actually a thermal or thermal six pi satellization which puts an impossible trans double bond into one of the two six membered rings so that is about it for this particular video i hope you're able to understand this please hit the comment down below let me hear your thoughts thanks for the support thanks for all the encouragement see you all on my next video and be smart bye